Thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. I'm Amy boucher Pie, and I called our reading, Out of the Lion's Den. When Taher and his wife Danya became believers in Jesus, they knew they risked persecution in their home country. Indeed, one day Taher was blindfolded, handcuffed, imprisoned, and charged with apostasy. Before he appeared at trial, he and Danya agreed that they wouldn't betray Jesus. What happened at the sentencing amazed him. The judge said, I don't know why, but I want to take you out of the whale's and lion's mouths. Then Taher knew that God was acting. He couldn't otherwise explain the judge referencing two passages in the Bible. Taher was released from prison, and the family later found exile elsewhere. Taher's surprising release echoes the story of Daniel. A skilled administrator, he was going to be promoted, which made his colleagues jealous. Plotting his downfall, they convinced King Darius to pass a law against praying to anyone other than the king, which Daniel ignored. King Darius had no choice but to throw him to the lions. But God rescued Daniel and saved him from death, even as he saved Taher through the judge's surprising release. Many believers today suffer for following Jesus, and sometimes they are even killed. When we face persecution, we can deepen our faith when we understand that God has ways we can't even imagine. Know that He's with you in whatever battles you face. The scripture reading for today's Our Daily Bread devotional is from Daniel chapter 6 verses 10 through 23. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree. Did you not publish a decree that during the next thirty days anyone who prays to any god or human being except to you, your majesty, would be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered, The decree stands, in accordance with the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the rings of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation might not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating and without any entertainment being brought to him and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him, because he had trusted in his God. Let's pray. Saving God, you give us the strength to trust in you. When the obstacles in life feel insurmountable, 
Help us to look for you for help and peace. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for listening. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.